26 turnovers. Uh, what would you tell them? Uh, first, I told them I didn't help them enough. I thought 26 turnovers, you're not helping your team enough offensively. Um, I thought they did a really good job. Uh, their defense was solid. They were ready for us. Um, they doubled Nicola in the post. Uh, we tried to talk about our spacing this morning. We really never got it right. We didn't shoot enough threes, as you can see. Um, you know, a lot of stuff happened. Like you said, the turnovers, they got 11 more shots than, than we got. The defense was solid throughout. But, you know, if you don't score, <laughs> the defense finally is going to fall apart. You know, the seven threes in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we were down two guys, Austin and Blanco. Uh, probably played AG too many minutes. Bones just coming back, probably too many minutes. I wanted to try to get Bowl Bowl back in the game, uh, but they were small at the four, as you guys saw. Uh, he really didn't have a matchup out there at the four because uh, you got to guard their, most of their four guys on the perimeter because they're shooting threes. Uh, so, it, you know, it ended up being tough. You know, we had to play Bones. Um, I thought he knew more of the playbook maybe than what he knew. Uh, they did a good job also on Falco's pick and, Falco's pick and roll. So, overall, I just thought they, that they had a good defensive game plan. And the game plan, we talked about how to attack offensively. I didn't think we did a good job of that. So, uh, that means that's on me that I didn't get the message across how to attack this team tonight. You gave their defense credit for how many Uh, well, I thought we dribbled too much, obviously too much one-on-one, -on -one. uh, a good deep. I try to tell them at halftime, a good defensive team, they're always going to guard your first action, maybe your second action. You got to get to your third action and just not stop Paul, uh, stop moving the ball. Got to try to keep energy in the ball, keep the ball moving. Uh, I showed a, a couple of clips at halftime, tell them, get the ball moving to the other side of the floor, get their defense moving. Because when you're trying to play ISO basketball, you know, a good defensive team, they should be able to sit on you and, they, and guard you. And uh, uh, they are a good defensive team. Yeah, I, like, again, I thought the defense was good. I thought the pipe busted late. Uh, you know, game two here, they had 14 threes. We knew coming in the game that we had to take away the three-point line. Uh, I thought that, you know, uh, late, uh, they started running double drags with Luca. as you can see. He had 15 assists, uh, and, and he really was, was finding shooters on the floor. Uh, I th thought there was some confusion in our coverage uh, with Bones just coming back. Uh, I know we were trying to tell him to show. We didn't want him to switch on Luca. Uh, but Luca's really good, as you guys know, when he's clever, <laughs> kept getting the switch and there was some confusion and uh, the, he made us pay. That's what that's what great players do. Uh, if your coverage is messed up, they make you pay. Uh, but, I, you know, like I said, now I've experienced both sides of it, coaching, you know, I experienced winning and I experienced losing. Uh, and we know I've always been told that uh, in this business, there's only two things, two things. There's winning and misery. <laughs> there's nothing in between. Uh, but, you know, we get a chance to go home. Uh, it's been a really, really uh, tough December for us. We've been on the road a lot. Uh, so we get to go home. Hopefully we can go home for a quick homestand and get right there. How nice would it be to finally see the schedule start to at least turn a little bit? Right. Well, it, it's, it's going to be – we're looking forward to it. You know, not only that, we're looking forward to getting coaches back. We're looking forward to getting players back. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a lot of things. I, I think this team is. Uh, but, uh, you know, the effort was there. We got it to four. It can't fall, I can't fault our guys' effort. Again, like you said, it's, it's hard to overcome 26 turnovers. Uh, I think it's just an, an ankle. I don't know how bad it is. Uh, he was icing it in there. And then again, you know, we lost Austin too, uh, who's been playing great for us. And, you know, that probably – both of them going down, especially Austin, it forced me to play Bones, uh, you know, more than I wanted to. But, you know, he's always up for the challenge. So that's why we try to keep him out there. Doing real quick to bring in Christoph. Hey, Papa, how's it going? Uh, hey, Brandon, how you doing, sir? Good. So I'm curious, you know, it's already difficult to step up into the number one chair as is. But when you're talking about getting coaches back, players, when you're so undermanned, Bones just coming back, how much more of a challenge is that? Oh, uh, well, you know what? Uh, Brandon, I guess I'll put it like this. Life is about challenges and, and about um, trying to overcome them, you know? And, and we got a group of guys in that locker room. I, I told them when I stepped in, I said, you know, thank you guys for letting me come into your culture because Coach Malone and Steph, the, the culture here is, is, is really good. And, it, and it's, I don't think Nikola Jokic gets enough credit 
not only the player he is, but the superstar he is. Uh, he holds a lot of stuff together, you know? So it's, it's a really, really good culture. And, you know, they've, they've created it, you know, Coach Malone, his staff, and I'm the, like I said before, I'm the new guy and I, it's, I, I'm blessed to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, honestly, uh, you know, with with the with the numbers, with the injuries, hopefully, you know, because we need bodies. So hopefully, you know, I even went to him after the game and said, you know, um, I wanted to get you back in there, man, but they were small, and you know, he's a great. He actually is a great guy. He said, I, I understand. Uh, but you know, like I told him since I came here from day one, I I told Bo, you know, I told him I said um, I knew your father. Uh, rest in peace to him, uh, a good man. I, I said, uh, anything I can do for you to help your career, you want to talk, whatever. And, you know, we we have a really good friendship, uh, me and Bo. I think he's a really, really good good person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.